Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth and welcome back to another video, folks. As you can see, once again, we are in FIFA 22 and we're going to do some more gambling. Unfortunately, this is probably going to be the last of these videos that I'm going to be doing um, for the foreseeable future. It doesn't mean that there won't be any FIFA 22 content uh, going forward, but it's most likely that this is going to be the last. We don't know. We'll wait and see. And of course, it depends on how people take it at some point in the future. But again, we're going to do some spending. Uh, I'm going to be spending about uh, $100 on cards in the game. So that's about £80. Might as well spend some of that hard-earned YouTube money here on this game. And open up some packs and uh, we'll see what we get. It's going to be interesting. Hopefully we get something nice. Um, of course, I don't really know. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. It's a, it's a difficult one. I do like the game. Unfortunately, it's not something that people on the channel are fans of. And I can get that. Now, funny enough... <laughs> I don't watch football, have very little to do with football, but it doesn't change the fact that it is a enjoyable game to play. So let's see, this is the second pack. So we got about 12,000 FIFA points, which should kind of get us a fair amount of cards. We'll see if we get anything decent, anything worth writing home about. So I'm going for the promotional packs. It does give us these golden additional packs at the time of making this video really i do want to open up some of these as well but as you can see they are quite expensive i uh, will do that it's fine we've got twelve thousand fifa points really not that big a deal and hopefully we get something something nice oh well that was a waste of money wasn't it <laughs> it's fine it's fine i chose to do this so it's my own choosing and I don't really regret spending this money. I think this is probably the silliest way I could probably spend money for me, speaking from my perspective. Okay, I think I'm going to open up another one of these packs just because I... I don't know. I do have a lot of points, so... Oh, hello, unlucky me this time. What do we get? All right, this is usable, so I'm probably going to keep it. Now, of course, with players from team of the season, you can definitely sell these off. And uh, my team's already pretty much sorted. I'm happy with what I have for the online play. It uh, is definitely a good team. And we have a duplicate as well. So, of course, we're going to get rid of the duplicate before we move on to the next pack that we're going to open. Alright, uh, I feel like I want to open one more, just for good luck, <laughs> and uh, then we'll probably move on to some others at some point. We don't want to spend all our money on these packs, because they are quite expensive actually. They cost dearly, I, I'd say. It, it, it's double the price of a normal pack, and we'll do one more just for good luck. Nope. It did not happen this time for me, which sucks. <laughs> I do like it when we get the rare stuff. This is actually gambling in a way, in my opinion. And I can see why uh, certain countries were not happy about this type of system. What else have we got here? Do I... Do you know what? I feel like I want to open up all these packs just because I might get lucky with something nice. Something that I could use or eventually sell. Um, I don't think, though... I'm going to be selling all that much. Uh, it is going to be a case, of course, where I'm probably going to sell the gold cards. I don't really have much of a need for them unless there's something uh, really extraordinary, but I don't seem to be lucky with that regards. Okay, we're getting another one. Um, so I was looking at the golden packs to see what... I got I got two of them from some of the boxes that I well packs that I opened up that do have this promotion so it's quite interesting I just wanted to see what we get in it all oh, right okay I mean it's expected that we're gonna get the modifiers and stuff like that but I did want to see if we get anything decent in them all right let's get some more of these so we're going to stick to the ones that cost 350 and uh, keep our fingers crossed, both on our hands and toes, that we get something nice. I get the feeling that the cheap 
packs are the ones that are less likely to give us anything decent when i do run out of the cheap packs i guess i'm gonna have to move on to the more expensive ones if of course i do still have enough um enough points i nearly forgot what they were called you know which is a bit funny because i have been playing this quite regularly so i should know it by now but for some odd reason it was just one of those words that really wasn't coming to me so this time around i mean we're getting some decent cards they definitely have some resale value here are these things called cards or are they players I'm, I'm gonna call them cards for the purpose of this video and i'm probably going to get told off by someone that is really passionate about the game that i probably called it wrong or something like that but it is what it is all right so get rid of this definitely want to pick this up i reckon by the end of this video there'll be loads of golden cards to open up so we get another one right here and venus cross oh hello 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 team of the season okay that's good i can definitely do something with this i will probably have it as a sub why not it does help out so i reckon that's as far as my luck went but i guess the only one the only way to see or find out is to keep on opening up some more it would be nice to get something uh, iconic although with the amount of cards or players that there are available in the game i very highly doubt that is ever going to happen i'm most likely going to end up having to buy them but it is what it is so i do apologize <laughs> i kind of clicked or got over the little animation a bit quicker than needed uh just my warm it's just me wanting to rush it if that makes sense trying to get through as quick as possible of course there's also the reselling of the duplicates that i need to do so sometimes i will have to do some cuts so hopefully we don't get too many duplicates i did clear out most of the players that i already had so we'll see we'll see how things work all right we're gonna open up another pack for 350 fifa points we've got about 3800 so that should still do us quite good we'll see how far we get with that we've got aston villa all right yeah he's all right i guess someone might need him i'm probably going to end up selling them so we've got quite a few of these golden packs that i will be opening at the end once i'm finished using up all of my fifa points because why not and so far i've been fortunate not to get too many duplicates so that is actually quite nice all right let's see right here yeah we've got a duplicate and get rid of this and sell off the duplicates okay we are coming close to the end of this we did have, uh, what was it? I think it was 12,000 FIFA points. We now have about 3,000. Get rid of that. And, yep. Okay. So I've, got, <laughs> I've gotten rid of the duplicate. I'm trying to go through as quick as possible to keep the video short if possible. So, Chelsea. All right. Any duplicates on this one? I am expecting to start seeing some duplicates right here. Yep. Okay, pick up the golden pack. 2,800 FIFA points to spend through. Minus 350, that brings us to about uh, 2,450, I guess. Something like that. All right. We are getting some decent cards or players. Cards. Confusion right here. The confusion's real. <laughs> All right, so what do we get this time? I mean, we haven't really seen anything nice towards the end of it. We are coming to the end of the part, and unfortunately, it does look like we are not going to get anything special. We have just under 2,000 points remaining. We get rid of all of our FIFA points, and then spend some time opening up the golden packs that we've picked up and we've picked up quite a few 
1700. This will bring us to an end. Nope. Nothing special here. Oh, hell, hold on. Well, I suppose it's a good card, so we can keep it. It's not, um, I suppose, special in terms of... It's not like a unique card, but it is a good player. And quite a few duplicates in this as well. Let's do the 600 FIFA points. And let's see what we get. Nope. Nothing special here. Fair enough. Uh, let's grab the players that we need. Okay, so I've got 14 golden packs to go through. Hopefully we don't get too many duplicates in this. If we do, of course, that means I'll have to cut some stuff out. But this is just, I suppose, an additional bonus round for buying the packs, which makes sense. It just means I'll get more players to sell, I guess. And, of course, we are also going to be getting quite a few, I don't know, consumables, if you want to call them the uh, things that we can apply to players like contracts and uh, modifiers and stuff like that. So that is actually quite useful because I don't really have much of that to be fairly honest so this is going to be helpful with regards to go or to the future to going forward basically so apparently these packs contain one rare i'm not quite sure what that means unless they class gold as rares it's interesting though i guess yeah okay we got some coins I guess this is just a form of money grab or monetization for EA. They do seem to like stuff like this, which is fair enough, you know. It is a decent game. I am enjoying it. I do like the career, to be fairly honest. That is where I'm spending most of my time playing the career mode. I am, of course, playing on the online side as well, but not so much. I do like opening up the cards, though. And, of course, it can be a bit addictive. And as I said, I think this is probably going to be the last of these types of videos as is, uh, as far as the future pertains. We've got ten more packs. Nine with this one that we've opened, if we count this one. Uh, I don't expect any miracle to pop out of these packs, but you never know. You never know. These guys are just money for me. And of course, what I mean by that is I'm probably going to sell them off. Not for a lot, but they do add up. You know, we're going to try and get as much as we can off of these and see how much money, how many FIFA coins we can get for what we have obtained. Ooh, hello. All right. So we've got six more cards with this one. We had seven. But we've opened up another one, so that leaves us with six cards to... Cards? Packs. Jesus. Six packs to open up. So let's see what else we get. We have obtained quite a few um, customization items and modifiers and stuff like that. So it is nice that I do have a bit of an option there to customize the club and stuff like that. Okay. That's what we got from this one. Let's see what we get going forward. Five packs to go. Are we going to get anything nice? How nice would it be if we got something decent? That's what I'm thinking. I, I think that's very highly unlikely to happen. Especially with these packs. But then I don't know how this works i haven't really opened too many packs as far as fifa 22 goes so yeah i don't really know don't really know i mean i suppose there is an option of getting something decent although the um the players that we have been getting from these golden packs whilst they are good they are nothing special compared to the more newer packs as you can see 
uh, for uh, by their scoring. I didn't know what to call it. If it's level scoring, whatever, you know, the number basically associated with the player or the card or whatever. They all have a basically a, a score, so nothing too special. Okay, seventy-eight mm, might work out. I guess might get some money off of this guy. All right. And with that said and done, we have two more packs. Let's get through these. And what do we get here? Okay. Just another one to sell off. So I'm thinking this time around, I am going to use the remainder of the FIFA points that I have. And I think I have about 150 and we might just buy a golden pack, I guess. Okay, here we go. We have some more stuff to open up. And with that said, uh, I did get some more and with that said and done, that is it for this video, folks. I do hope that you have enjoyed it. it. I certainly enjoyed myself. Of course, it has been an expensive way of enjoying myself, but it is what it is. And, uh, you know, I just felt like throwing some money away after all that hard work. And this is pretty much what this video is. With that being said and done, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay safe, folks.